This is how you do a face swap in Photoshop. All right, so obviously the most important part about a face swap is that you have two faces that are facing kind of in the same direction. So both of these are facing to the front, so these will work just fine. The first step to a face swap is to use your lasso tool, which is the third one down. If you don't see it, just right click. You might see one of these. So lasso tool and make sure you have feather at zero pixels and then just trace around the part of the face that you want to cut out. So I'm going to go all the way around here, kind of duck in there around the forehead like that. Once you have it selected, just go up to edit and copy, then go over to the other face that you're going to paste it on and go edit paste. Then just go command or control T to resize, rotate and move your face into place. So in this case, I can kind of guess, you know, where it might look the best, or you can go over to opacity, drop it down a little bit to kind of see through and that'll help you kind of line it up properly so that basically the eyes, the nose and the mouth are kind of in the same place as the image below. Once you have it lined up the way that you want, just click check and then bump the opacity back up to 100. Now, if your top face, and I'm just gonna name this layer face, if your top face doesn't fit within the borders of the bottom face, then you're gonna have to erase those edges. So this is kind of close right here. So I'm just gonna go over to the eraser tool right here, click on it. I'm gonna make sure up here that the hardness is at 100%, and I'm gonna drop the size a little bit here and then just erase anything that extends beyond the borders of the bottom face. At this point, we're ready to blend our faces together. So to do that, we're first gonna click on our background layer here and duplicate it by going Commander Control J. Then we're gonna hold Commander Control and click on the thumbnail part of our face layer. That'll make a selection of the face how we had it before. Then we're gonna go up to Select, down to Modify and over to Contract in here, you're going to contract by anywhere from 5 to 10 pixels, depending on the resolution of your image. Mine's fairly decent resolution, so I'm going to contract by 8. If yours is a lower resolution, then contract by less. Okay, I'm going to click OK. That's going to move it in just a little bit. You can barely see it. If I, if I zoom in here, you can see that it just moved the selection in just a little bit. Then while you're selected on the copy layer, just hit backspace or delete and that'll delete the face out of this layer right here. Then I'm gonna zoom out here. Then all we have to do is hold Command or Control and click on the face layer this time, not on the thumbnail. So we have both of these two selected, the background copy and the face. Then we just have to head up to Edit, down to Auto Blend Layers, make sure these three things are selected, and then just click OK. Then if we go Command or Control D to deselect, you'll see that the face swap is done. Now, in some cases, you might see some rough transitions between the new face and the old face. If that's the case, just hide the middle two. And then on the top one, let's put a mask. So this box with a circle in it. And then go to your brush. Make sure it's a black brush in the foreground here. Increase the size and drop the hardness way down. Drop your opacity to below 50%, so somewhere around 35, 40% is probably pretty good. And then just paint along the edge where the new face meets the old face. And we're just trying to blend the transition, just make it a little bit smoother between the two and slowly, you know, have more of a gradual transition between the new face and the old face. So now if I click this eyeball, you can see that's what we started with and this is our final face swap. For a more advanced face swap tutorial, make sure to click on one of the videos linked on the screen right now.